Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, it is Mother's Day, and so Howard picked me up my favorite pizza today. It is from a place called Grimaldi's, and I got the um, margarita pizza. So there's no meat on it, it's just tomato sauce, basil, and cheese, and it is so good. And then he also got me a cupcake from Small Cakes. And I got the strawberry. There was a piece of strawberry on top, but I already ate it off. So I got a strawberry cupcake, and then he got the wedding cake cupcake. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am cooking from my freezer. I have had these chicken meatballs in my freezer for a while and wanted to use them up. They are chicken meatballs, they're already cooked. So what I did was heat them up in the skillet, I browned them, and then to it, I added some teriyaki, and that's Harrison. I added some teriyaki sauce and some hoisin sauce to it. And then I'm serving it over white rice. We are also having chicken spring rolls from Trader Joe's. Here they are, I cooked them in the air fryer. And then I have been craving green vegetables. So from Trader Joe's, I sauteed some organic kale and then some just shredded cabbage. I fried about six slices of bacon that I chopped up very well. And then to it, I just added the veggies and sauteed them with some garlic salt and onion powder. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am using up some stuff for my pantry. So in my pantry, I had this one pot simmer sauce that I got from Walmart a while back ago. They still have it at Walmart in case you're wondering but um, it is an authentic African recipe. And as you can see, um, you add chicken to it and it has roasted bell peppers, tomatoes, onions, etc. in there. Here's a screenshot of, or a shot I should say, of the ingredients. And so you can either make a rice recipe with it or you can use it as a simmer sauce, which is what I did. But I did not cook it on top of the stove. I roasted my chicken legs in the oven um, then I poured off the fat, then I added the simmer sauce and continued to cook it. So I cooked this chicken for about an hour. Um, and with it, I am serving some rice orzo pilaf mix that I picked up from um, Trader Joe's on my last haul. I will link that in the description box and also in the cards above if you wanna check out that haul. So I made that and then I also made this naan as well that I got from Trader Joe's. And oh, here it is. And I just added some butter to it. And then we're just having the leftover kale and cabbage mixture from the other day. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I am trying out a new recipe today. It is called crunchy onion barbecue chicken. So in this little pan here, I have some french fried onions, I have some grated parmesan cheese and pepper. It calls for black pepper, the recipe, but I am using white pepper because Howard's not crazy about black pepper. And then in this bowl, I have um, two large chicken breasts that I pounded out and then I cut into two pieces. So I have four pieces of chicken here. That's Harrison. He's eating dinner. Um, four pieces of chicken that I just poured some barbecue sauce on there and um, it's just kind of marinating in the barbecue sauce. I've got my oven preheated, preheating to 400 degrees. And then I have a cookie sheet here that I lined with foil paper and sprayed with cooking spray. So all that I am going to do is just um, dredge this chi these chicken breasts into this mixture here and it says to only coat one side. So I'm gonna do it like the recipe says, and then I'll make sure, of course, to link the recipe in the description box. So here we go. All right, so I've got everything coated. I am going to pop this in my oven. I think it said for about 25 minutes, and then of course, I'll bring it back and show you how it turns out. 
All right, so here is the chicken. Howard and I tried it and um, I think it's just okay. Howard likes it. I will say, um, as you can see, it did get a little dark on top. Some of the French fried onions kind of got, you know, a little toasty. Um, but I think it's just okay. I don't know that I would make it again unless Howard is just, you know, craving it. And then with that, Howard wanted some good old basic macaroni and cheese. So that is what I made. And then I also made some fresh broccoli. I stir fried it in oil. And then I used this to season it with. I had mentioned a while back ago that I have so many seasonings that I am not using. So I'm being intentional about the seasonings that I am using. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am trying out a new recipe. It is called, I think it's called chicken bacon ranch casserole. I will make sure to leave the recipe in the description box, but in my skillet, I have some chicken thighs that I um, diced up. And right back here, I have some bacon that I fried and chopped up. So I'm frying this chicken in some of that leftover bacon grease. And then to that, I'm going to add this package of Hidden Valley Ranch um, season mix, seasoning mix. Um, the recipe calls for you to drain this pan completely of the bacon fat and then in a Ziploc bag, they say to add olive oil in this and shake it all up, but I just figured like this would be a quicker way to do it um, and it, hopefully it'll turn out the same. But I am just going to let this cook all the way through and then what I'm going to do in this casserole dish, I have some pasta. This is a nine by nine casserole dish. I have some pasta that I have already cooked up and drained and set it to the side. I'm trying to get the glare, there you go, and set it to the side. And all I'm going to do is put it in the bottom of my casserole dish, and then I am going to add this um, Alfredo sauce to it on top, and then I'm going to add the cooked chicken. I'm going to add some of this cheese, and the cheese is a mixture of Cheddar, I know there's a glare, sorry. That's just the way my lights are in this kitchen. There's a mix of cheddar and mozzarella, and then I'm going to top it with the crumbled bacon. So of course, I'll be back to show you guys how um, everything turned out. Okay, so here is the casserole, hot out of the oven, and it looks so good. We haven't tasted it just yet. And with it, I'm just serving some leftover broccoli. That's my child. And we are also having some breadsticks. I picked these up from Trader Joe's. They are found in the bakery section. I think he does that on purpose. <laughs> All right, anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.